please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be continuing my favorite series as I look at my favorite players by position currently on every NHL team. And today we are going to be talking about the Dallas Stars. So before we begin, I just ask that you please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. We would love to have you become part of the Off The Wall Hockey community here. But let's get into it. Looking at my favorite current players on the Dallas Stars, starting at left wing, where we have Jamie Benn, somebody who I have loved his entire career. Now there's no doubt that his performance and particularly his offensive output has declined over the past couple of seasons. Uh, he's now 30 plus, he's getting older, and um, you know that's typical with these power forward kind of players. But Jamie Benn is a throwback, old school type of player, very Jerome McGinley like. Um, you know, I can name other players like that as well, but you know what I mean. That old school, he's a good leader, great locker room guy, captain, not afraid to stand up for his teammates, can drop the gloves, plays physically, power forward, also obviously has been a big time goal scorer and point producer for Dallas over the years. Um, just There's so much to like about Jamie Benn. And uh, he's been one of my favorite players for a long, long time now with Dallas. And um, that continues to be the case. At center, we have Radek Foxa, a really interesting player who I like a lot with Dallas. He plays with an edge to his game, a little bit of an attitude. He's a guy that you can kind of move up and down your lineup. I mean, Dallas is an interesting lineup in, as a whole when you look at it. There's not... There's not exactly like defined spots for a lot of these players. And Fox is another one of those guys that he could be your second line center or he could be your fourth line center. And you can move him up and down the lineup. And that's um, that's really, really a cool thing to have, I think. And uh, he's just, he brings more grit to the table than a lot of people realize. He can obviously help out offensively. He's a good, you know, middle of your lineup type player. And uh, I've grown to like Radek Fox a lot. At right wing, we have Joe Pavelski, uh, another guy that I've loved for his entire career. Obviously, he's getting quite a bit older now, um, but uh, still still a really good player. Obviously, didn't have the offensive output that he expected this year, his first year with Dallas, but such a stellar career with the San Jose Sharks for so, so many years. And, um, you know, just a guy I've always loved, drafted in the seventh round, I believe. I mean came out of nowhere and actually turned into a superstar NHL player, somebody who can put up big goal totals, big point totals, and has had an incredible career. So nothing but respect for Joe Pavelski. On defense, I have to say this was a tough one. Looking at Dallas's defense core, there aren't a lot of guys that really stick out as guys that I love. So picking favorites out of this defense core was pretty tough. Uh, my number one D, I guess I'll have to go with Miro Heiskanen. Really, you know, young guy. Great offensive potential. I think he can end up being a high-level producing offensive defenseman. I like a lot of what I've seen from him so far. Um, so I'd have to say that he is my favorite at this point. And second defenseman, Jamie Oleksiak. I've always liked, you, know, you guys know, you know, especially if you follow this channel, you know how I feel about tough players and big physical guys. I love those kind of players. I love players that will fight and will lay, you know, play physically, will hit, and lay it all out there for their teams to win. And Oleksiak obviously is a pretty tough guy on that back end there. He's massive, what, 6'7". Um, you know, he doesn't fight a whole lot, but he certainly uh, is willing to and can drop the gloves with pretty much anyone in the league. And uh, just a, a really big guy, a hardworking player, and someone who, you know, hasn't necessarily lived up to his draft status, a, uh, you know, as a whole, but is a good depth defenseman to have in your organization. I think he's a quality bottom pair guy for Dallas in that lineup. And then finally, that leaves us with goaltender where uh, I'm going with Anton Hudobin, former Bruin, and that's, I think, why I love him so much as I watch him play in Providence. I watch him be the backup for Boston um, behind Tuka Rask. I, Anton Hudobin, great player, good, really, really good backup goalie, one of the best backups in the league. 
a uh, really funny personality too and just a great guy overall so there's a lot to like with Anton Hudobin and him being front you know coming you know spending years with Boston certainly made me like him even more so he is my goaltender so there are my favorites for the Dallas Stars guys at left wing Jamie Benn at center Radic Fox at right wing Joe Pavelski on defense Miro Heiskanen and Jamie Oleksiak and in goal Anton Hudobin so that's going to do it for this one about Dallas, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.